Once upon a time in a quaint little village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a grumpy old man named Mr. Grumbleton. He was known throughout the village for his perpetual scowl and his habit of complaining about everything under the sun. If the weather was sunny, he'd grumble about the heat, and if it rained, he'd grumble about getting wet. No one had ever seen Mr. Grumbleton smile. One bright and cheerful morning, a traveling circus rolled into town. The townspeople were buzzing with excitement, and colorful posters announced the grand event. The circus boasted acrobats, clowns, jugglers, and a host of amazing acts that promised to make everyone smile. Word of the circus reached Mr. Grumbleton, but true to his nature, he muttered about it being a waste of time. However, his granddaughter, Lily, who lived with him, was determined to see the circus. She'd heard stories of the circus's magic from her friends and had a heart full of curiosity. Lily pestered her grandfather until he finally agreed to take her to the circus. He grumbled and groaned all the way there, but Lily was undeterred. She was determined to make him smile, even if just for a moment. As they entered the big, colorful tent, the lights dimmed and the circus began. The acrobats soared through the air, the clowns brought laughter to the audience, and the jugglers amazed with their dexterity. But no matter how amazing the acts were, Mr. Grumbleton sat with his arms crossed and his scowl intact. Then came the final act, a talented and playful troupe of performing dogs. These dogs could dance, jump through hoops, and even walk on their hind legs. The crowd erupted in applause, and even Mr. Grumbleton couldn't help but be impressed. But it wasn't until the last dog, a tiny poodle with fluffy pink fur, entered the ring that the magic truly happened. This little dog named Sparkle had been specially trained to do something extraordinary. As the music played, Sparkle began to waltz, gracefully twirling and spinning around the ring. The audience watched in awe as the poodle danced as if it were floating on air. Lily looked at her grandfather and saw something she hadn't seen in a long time, a glimmer of wonder in his eyes. She took his hand and whispered, Grandpa, look at Sparkle, isn't she amazing? For a moment, Mr. Grumbleton forgot to grumble. He watched the dancing poodle with a small smile tugging at the corners of his mouth. Lily's heart swelled with joy as she witnessed this rare sight. When the circus ended and they returned home, Mr. Grumbleton found himself humming a tune from the circus, and Lily couldn't stop talking about Sparkle the dancing poodle. That night, as he tucked Lily into bed, he couldn't help but smile as he realized that sometimes, even the grumpiest of hearts could be touched by a little bit of magic and the joy of a granddaughter's love. From that day on, Mr. Grumbleton still had his moments of grumbling, but he also had moments of laughter and smiles, all thanks to a tiny dancing poodle named Sparkle and the persistent love of a little girl named Lily. And so, in their quiet village, they found that even the grumpiest of hearts could be warmed by the simple joys of life. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel for more empowering content.